Hi guys, so this is the Aprilia SR150 and it's got the 154cc motor with 11 bhp of power and 11 nm of torque and I've been riding this scooter since two days and it feels really very good according to the performance handling and braking it's just top notch for a scooter but talking about the comfort this comes nowhere near to the famous scooters like Activa, Axis, Jupiter or even the Vespa because the seats are very hard the suspension is very stiff it almost feels like you are riding on a cycle it's that stiff I feel my KTM's suspension is much more smoother than this much softer so it's that hard but when it comes to performance and handling braking I think no scooter in India can beat this and when it comes to acceleration it's got a very good acceleration it zooms right from 0 to 120 without any struggle talking about the brakes it gives a very good feedback it's got a very good bike and I've never seen anything like this on a scooter as you can see as soon as you open the throttle it just moves the throttle response is very nice it's pretty precise to the standards of the scooter and now let me do a small brake test just for you guys to show you how precise the brakes are it's that good the brakes give you a very good feedback it's got a very good confidence 220 mm disc in the front and the drum brakes at the back does a very good job and the telescopic suspension gives a very good support for it for handling and the stability on the scooter is very nice you feel planted even at high speeds so guys let me show you how it performs on a 0 to 60 and 0 to 100 now guys as you saw without any effort it reaches 100 it's got a very good torque to the entire range and without any struggle it reaches three figures and undoubtedly this is the fastest Indian scooter till date and the handling of this scooter has been great I've been riding since two days as I told you so 70% of it was in the city so Maneuvering in the city is a bliss It's got a very good turning radius The scooter feels very light So you can easily maneuver through the city And it's got very good power So even you can do overtakes without any effort So as I told you earlier The scooter is very good for performance Handling and braking uh, But when it comes to comfort I really don't recommend this bike because the seats are pretty small it's narrow and it's very hard compared to uh, any other scooter and even the footboard is small the space is small so if you want to store any luggage so you have to sacrifice some space out there and even the under seat storage is small so only a small helmet can fit inside and Talking about the 
tires it's got a very good grip it's got a 120 by 70 section tires with 14 inches alloys and the 220 mm disc does a very good job and talking about the suspension it's very stiff and it's no way com comfortable uh, compared to any other scooters in the market so this scooter is meant only for those guys who love performance handling even the console could have been much better as this is a modern scooter it, there should have been a digital console nevertheless it's got a fully analog console and also these indicators are not visible at daylight and also the key it's very low so you need to bend a bit to access it and apart from that this is a fabulous looking scooter and it's got loads of power and torque the braking is amazing so if you are a guy who is looking for performance handling of a bike in a scooter then definitely go for this so thanks for watching this video guys and if you like it please do subscribe to my channel like and share it Bharat Mata Ki Jai thank you bye bye Thank you.